I got you on single target. Sacred up here, Padme. Never mind. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Arshi. Let's talk about the leaderboards New World is currently proposing to us on PTR. But before we begin, here's a brief 10 second background about me. I currently stream New World full time and have over 3,000 hours in the game. I believe I have enough knowledge about this game in both aspects of PvP and PvX. 10 seconds, done. All right, a little disclaimer. I'm not here to say I'm a subject expert and you should listen to everything I have to say. I'm only providing my proposal as to what I believe could be an exciting new addition for the current leaderboard system on PTR. Clearly, we all want ELO matchmaking, but that isn't happening anytime soon, so we gotta work with what we got. So here are some screenshots that I took from PTR to share what I currently see from the devs' proposals. Faction War Scoring System. Currently, this is meant for those who have the highest score and rewarding those top 10 and top 50 players out of 100. There are no indicators as to how to obtain the highest scores, but from my experience, the data most likely comes from your kills, deaths, damage dealt, damage absorbs, assists, and more. Why am I proposing a different solution? The reason for it is to prevent the stagnant PvP flavor of the months last year. Whatever weapon obtains the most score will be abused over playing the objective, which is to win as a team of 50. What I propose is separating them into categories, so instead of rewarding the top 10 and top 50 out of 100, you can now reward the top rank 1 player or the top 3 players. 14 weapons in total, times that by 3, and you've got 42 players that will take advantage of this rank slash reward instead of the top 50. This will help players focus on new builds and strategies of to bring the war as well as being rewarded by this new proposed addition to the current leaderboard system. Sadly, the PTR test didn't go according to plan for warring on leaderboards. Instead, we got an opportunity to try OPR to showcase the leaderboards. I did a total of two OPRs and having the, had the opportunity to see both defenders sign up and attacking signups led me to believe we had approximately around two to 300 players on PTR for this test. When I was on PTR doing OPR, I was noticing that everybody was trying to strive to get onto the leaderboards and traditionally playing classes that were very high in stat padding behaviors. So what I would recommend, the same proposal as we made earlier for Wars, for OPR as well. To help break up the copy possibilities for the, for the month slash year we see every day, there's a lot of people who strive to showcase that they are the top five in OPR to feel recognized and appreciated. Instead of nerfing those said weapons, or trying to make all weapons have the same capacity, just give us the option to showcase each weapon to their fullest capacity and not compare each weapon as a whole in a system that we currently have. I mean, you guys tell me, am I talking to my or does this make any sense? I mean, we could go dive in and learn more about that later. Now is the time to talk about heals and wars. Currently, since the start of the game, AoE healers are the most rewarded in the current scoring system, which means if you try any other build outside of Sacred, Orb, and Beacon, good luck in getting a decent score. You're typically ranked between 90 to 100, which is last place. Trying to tell your team or other players who see your score that you are a kill squad healer and you're actually really good, I mean, the only way to share that you're a decent player right now is to have them attempt to kill you or actually get healed by you. Uh, based on your current ranking in war, you are regarded as trash, sorry, and since the scoreboard means everything to a lot of people, which then basically brews bad behavior. I mean, you've given us 14 weapons, in which we can use two of them, and then we can attempt to use three out of those six skills. I mean, with so many options to choose from, why not showcase those players with different playstyles, which can be effective, if not even more than others. The proposal I'm offering is just an addition to what you already have. Just separate the heals into categories that showcase each playstyle. You'll see highlights in both the score and heals. You can propose this under the heals tab or the scoring tab, doesn't matter. The end result is showing Sacred Ground, Beacon, Orb of Protection, Splash of Light, Lights Embrace, and Divine Embrace, and give those healers a chance to say that they are the best single target healer in that said category, and you'll see more individuals excited to play different style builds and help promote your game in a healthy way. As I said earlier, only one style currently really outshines the rest. Again, same proposal for War, but for OPR. Just mimic it. Alter it however you please, as long as it showcases multiple styles of play. People who wish to switch their weapons, it's on them. And if they wish to switch their skills, again, it's on them. They're going to lose out on their total score during their time of play. Let's move on to war objective proposals. This is fairly straightforward. I mean, showcasing those players who play on A, B, and C points in the final four position. If there's an attacker on the point and a defender on the point, both the attacker and defender will receive a score. And 
If the defender is on the point and there's no attacking player on there, they will not receive a score. Straightforward showcasing those players that both play Sky in the defending wars and the attacking wars, and they will officially feel respected by their warring partners, as that is the only thing they're going for them, other than a VOD review and their gear. They have never been seen at the top of the leaderboards, and the role they play is strictly utility, which is also underappreciated. The same thing for war, let's have the same thing for the objective play for OPR as well. To help promote players killing each other on the point, and if you want to basically say, hey, there's going to be stat patterns out there basically sitting there and farming each other all day with their friend, give them a time bonus for each death on the point. I don't know, it's up to your description. At, that, at this point, we got to figure out if there's going to be a lot of abusive behavior and then either punish them or basically find a way to, uh, to amplify it. And so, in summary... Uh, ELO matchmaking would solve a lot of our problems, but because it's nowhere near in sight, I would appreciate it if the devs would bolster our current uh, leaderboard scoring system to give multiple styles of play an opportunity to be recognized. I mean, hopefully this was helpful to the players and developers alike. I really want to see this game last, as I'm a huge fan of its combat system. All I do is duel outside of Windsward for like hours on days, and I really look forward to seeing your thoughts on the matter and if we can obtain something that we can all appreciate. I mean, this has nothing to do with inventories, guys storages green slash yellow blue slash red heel circles this video is strictly aimed towards the current leaderboards and as what we're proposing for ptr thanks for listening and peace